So on my way to collect uh, my Kos parcel uh, with some sale items I've ordered. Uh, here is the outfit of the day. Jeans and white t-shirt from H&M. Bag and tank top from Kos. And I'm wearing my Birkenstock Boston's in uh, black. Voila, it's uh, about 20 degrees um, Celsius today. I haven't uh, left the house because I was uh, working. So let's just go out and experience uh, the weather and get my goodies. Okay, the temperature, uh, I have to say, is a little sweet actually, but it's still so windy. I can't wait for this windy weather to go away. welcome uh, to this uh, video. Uh, the sun is playing little uh, games. I popped out for a coffee earlier on and it was uh, so cloudy and now all of a sudden the sun uh, came out but this is the London weather uh, for you. Uh, thank you for being uh, here. I got my coffee so this is the day after I collected my parcel. Uh, what I did yesterday is I unboxed everything I tried them on because I wanted to see the sizes, the fitting, the fabrics and all that jazz. And today I have the items hanging in this um, uh, rail along with some other <laughs> pieces that I didn't really have space to put them uh, somewhere else so I just left them on the rail. And I'm gonna go through all the items that I selected. Everything was on uh, sale. Uh, so because at the moment of filming this uh, video are doing a mid-season, I would say, um, sale. So really, really good uh, prices. So let's crack on the video then. Uh, voila, here I am standing and I'm wearing this boxy jacket from my uh, cause, but I didn't get it during this order. I got it last time um, and I have to say that this is one of my most worn pieces and I've had it for about two months uh, now. I remember when I first um, tried it on, I thought, oh, I don't know, is it too boxy? The sleeves are too uh, long. It's a little bit short. It's not gonna cover, you know, <laughs> enough of what I want uh, to be covered. But I slept on it and I decided to, to uh, keep it. I had to return it because it had a fault um, and then they gave me, uh, they honored the discount code that I purchased it with and I ordered it again. Uh, I mean, sometimes with cause you might get some little fabric issues. You have to be patient, um, in all honesty. Is it too sunny? Let me just um, close the curtain one sec. Okay, I made some changes, close the curtain, turn on the lights, and uh, here uh, we are. But I think uh, sometimes it's all a matter of styling as well. So let's start with the first tip. It's simple, you just turn the sleeves a little bit, so you have the perfect length that you need. Fair enough, they're going to leave a mark, but if it is too lengthy, I will never have it in full length so I don't care about the mark and I do the same with the other one yeah and I love that it has pockets the pockets are super, super generous they are way better than my Massimo Duty blazer and this is a jacket that I will wear more with let's say dresses or skirts instead of jeans just because it is a little bit long so you have, yeah, to style it with the perfect options. I don't know if it is still on uh, the website, but I would highly uh, recommend it. I'm going to give you some tips about shopping at COS. Yeah, so if you love COS, I would suggest to sign up to their newsletter, you know, to their program that they have, because from time to time they do send you discount codes. I got this with a discount code that uh, they gave me when it was you know, freshly released. So 
really good um, option uh, there. Uh, if you are uh, a member of their Coles uh, tribe, uh, you have access to the sale 24 hours uh, before it goes live for everyone else. So 24 hours, do they make a difference? Well, the, it does make a difference if your size is very, very common and we all know that certain sizes for certain uh, styles um, and uh, products that are cost, they sell out immediately. So having access before everyone else is a bonus, is a plus because you can secure your um, preferable uh, size. What's the other uh, tip? Oh, the other tip is that during every sale that they do, after a few days have passed, they have passed, they send you an email telling you, well, there is an extra 15% on top of the sale prices. So now this is a little bit of a tricky situation here because if your size is popular, it will uh, have sold out, but you might uh, get uh, lucky and you just get to get to buy something on sale, on sale twice, which is great. So let's start the video. I love, I love talking, especially when uh, I have uh, caffeine on my uh, side. So the first item of uh, this uh, haul is, I'm going to show you the least expensive uh, item. I was really surprised that this was on sale. It's a black top. It's a cotton um, uh, top. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. It's kind of boxy and you can see that there is a lot of fabric uh, here on the sleeve. As always, the sleeves at cost for me are very, very long. I mean, in the jacket, it's fine to fold it a little bit, but I don't feel comfortable doing that in the top. I think it looks uh, weird. And mind you, this is a size small, so lengthwise, it's not very long. Um, the feel of the top is quite generous because it has this boxy fit. Um, I do love the detail around the neck, but it's just that the sleeves are a little bit long. It is organic cotton, so it is like, it has medium softness, I would say, but the sleeve is a little bit uh, long and it has this line, I don't know if you can see it, at the back in the middle. Nevertheless, it's, it's a nice um, top to wear. Uh, of course with your jeans, but I can picture me wearing it with a pair of linen trousers uh, just because I, I love my linen uh, trousers and now is the season to start wearing linen trousers, linen uh, outfits, linen uh, clothes and today I'm wearing a linen uh, dress and um, this comes to show you what I mean uh, with pretty much I have every piece of clothing in my wardrobe throughout the year because I like to wear um, my clothes throughout the year. I don't want to have seasonal um, pieces. So this dress obviously is linen. It has scoop detail here and a deeper scoop detail at the back. It is sleeveless, but it is super, super long. We might be in spring, but here in London, the weather is I mean, I popped out um, uh, earlier uh, for my coffee and it was uh, quite uh, cold. Um, but it is long, so it covers me. And as long as you layer it with something warmer, it can be worn um, even uh, now. And I just uh, love it. So uh, I can imagine myself wearing my linen trousers with this uh, top. Uh, now we are while we are still transitioning here in London we're a little bit uh, slow with the transitioning uh, period so here are the remaining items and I'm going to start with my dresses actually I purchased three dresses because I really wanted to give calls a shot with the dresses I do think that the dresses that they carry the style the fit is not great for me I struggle to find a perfect dress um, in all honesty I think I only have one my black knit dress the long one with the slits which is amazing super super comfortable and a very good 
value for uh, for money. So I wanted to try something from the spring collection, especially this one that reminds me uh, of a shirt. I mean, I love the color, uh, these blues and the whites. It's just so chic, um, shirty. It's a shirt dress, you know, honestly. And I love uh, this uh, structure and masculine detail uh, here. I love the length of um, the shirt dress and that it has white buttons all the way down. Now, size wise, I ordered 36, but it was too small. Like, the, I couldn't close uh, the buttons. And it is super fitted and tight around the waist simply because it has this detail at the back that really cinches you uh, in. Bigger size is advisable here, but if I get bigger size, I think there will be way too much fabric going on and it will be even longer. And I, what I didn't like is the detail uh, with the sleeves. So I'm going to show you uh, the back of the sleeves. They have this folding detail here, which really, really confused me. Um, they come with two buttons here, but while I had it on, it was too much fabric and it wasn't very flattering. It was too much fabric here. Again, the sleeve too long, but it had too much going on. It was so puffy. Uh, at the back with uh, this folding detail and I really I really cannot see where they're going with this design and, and style. The, the fabric, uh, the cotton is beautiful but the design of the dress is uh, a no-no for me. So next the dress is again apparently the same design. I couldn't understand it uh, completely on the website because it has the cinched detail at the back so it was, I got it the same size which is clearly too small now I know and it comes with the same folding detail making this dress and the sleeves like too puffy too fabric uh, situation uh, I did not I, I was really really disappointed especially as the the fabric is so soft and I love the color it's not washed out, it's not too dark. I think it's perfect for spring. Um, and again, it has white buttons all the way down and this kind of structure, little uh, collar, beautiful stitching and a contrasting like brownish color, if uh, you can see. Beautiful jeans fabric dress. Um, but I think again that the design and the fit is a bit of a failure for me and my body type. I could imagine in someone who's taller and a little bit, this would be beautiful because uh, the folding and stitching detail around the sleeves gives that volume that you might lack in your body. But I already have a lot of volume uh, on my body. I'm, I'm comfortable with it. I'm happy. But it's just that this fit and style is, is not for me. Next up, we have another dress. I really like long dresses because I think they're elegant and they make you look more put together and stylish. So I got these that, it's like a polo dress, right? It has three buttons, three buttons. It is cotton cute color detail. As I mentioned in my uh, spring summer trends video, colors are quite big this uh, season. And this color is quite subtle and I think it's super, super wearable. The sleeves here are mid length, but quite generous. So again, you have some fabric going on um, along the, the sleeves. And there is a bit of a flare at the end of the dress, but I didn't like, I think you can even see it here better, like the stitching. So here it's, there's no stitching at all. And over here you have this stitching detail that 
when I tried it on, I felt that this stitching detail should be on my side, but because I didn't fit properly, it came in the front, if this makes any sense uh, to you. And the same happens at the back on the other side. So it's not like there is a fault with the stitching of the dress. It's just a very weird stitching uh, situation. And I don't know, when I'm wearing something, uh, I want the front to be clear. If there's any stitches, they should be on the side and the same on my back. It looked it looked very, very bad and quite cheap. So I, this is, I don't know. Even though I really liked uh, the color, it's a very unusual color, uh, but neutral, very, very earthy tone. Easy to style uh, with black and beigey colors, neutrals in your wardrobe. But it's just, again, the design was um, a faux pas. So attempting to bring a little bit more color in my wardrobe, I order this pair of trousers. They have a very weird fabric, which is called Naya Acetate. So it feels very, very weird. It's very quite, quite airy, it feels, and um, fluid but they were very small and very, very long. So even if I was, um, uh, if I had a size up, they're very, very long. So if you are happy with uh, the length, you'll have to tailor uh, them if you're not tall enough, or if you are tall and they look perfect on you, uh, well done. <laughs> but these uh, trousers were not for me. I love that they were tailored and I love, again, the color because it's something different, again, similar earthy tone to this one but this one is greener uh, the dress was more of a brownish um, shade uh, they have uh, pockets yeah I have to say that the pockets in all of the items uh, at Kos are very generous and comfortable so you can just you know put your hands in um, and feel comfortable the trousers were a no-no uh, for me and I have two remaining items so these items are in black so i try to have a little bit of color going on in this uh, haul uh, but you might know by now if you have uh, been around for uh, long enough that i do love a staple black piece in my wardrobe and if guys you are new here uh, on the channel and you have enjoyed the content feel free to subscribe um uh, on my channel if you haven't done uh, so yet for everyone who is not new thank you again for tuning in you might have noticed that there are some ads uh, going on um my channel got monetized um recently so i do apologize for all the ads coming through uh, your uh, way and thank you for <laughs> being uh, patient uh, with this it is part uh, of um, of uh, the game though so voila, last two items uh, then is two shirts, both black, but different fabric. So first we have this one, beautiful structure. The fabric here that we have is the same fabric as the trousers that I showed you earlier on. So the acetate, I love the color, size in the cos shirts, I'm always 34 and this is Honestly, the only piece of clothing that I can buy uh, from Kos with my eyes closed. Shirts, 34, no matter what the style, no matter what the fabric, 34 is my size. I'm very happy about that. Uh, so it fitted perfectly. Uh, now the fabric is not my favorite, I have to say. I think it is machine washable, which is very, very, let's have a look. Yes, it is machine washable at 30 degrees. So this is very, you know, convenient for all of us who do not want to take our clothes to the dry cleaners and pay extra uh, money. And, you know, uh, the shirt gets dirty. You just put it in um, the washing machine, does the job uh, for you. Um, I feel that this does not crease easily. I don't know, or it irons easily. I, I just get uh, this impression. But after trying on the last shirt that I have in this haul, I decided that this one that I'm going to show you now is better for me. 
Well, someone uh, recently uh, left a comment on one of my videos asking about uh, button-down up shirts uh, and asked for some recommendation. In general, I'm someone who does not wear black shirts other than linen. I don't know why. I mean, you know that I love and I just mentioned that I love uh, black uh, clothes, uh, but black shirts, I don't know. I feel a little bit weird about them. I prefer white ones or, you know, blue ones or blue stripey uh, ones. But if I was to choose a black shirt to wear and recommend to you would be anything i mean brand you choose your brand you know you choose your budget you choose the style um, but my recommendation would be silk i love a silk shirt i love anything in silk um and i think this fabric is beautiful and the beauty of it is that again anything that you have in silk you can wear it throughout the year with a few layers if it is uh, cold and then you just lose the layers at, as it's getting a little bit uh, warmer so here we have this silk shirt from cause again size is 34 original price was 135 uh, pounds now would i pay 135 for this for this quality absolutely not yeah, I do have other silk pieces in my wardrobe and the quality of the silk is not the same. So the quality is, I would say, medium. But it was on sale. Um, and as soon as they uh, sent an email with 15% off, I tried to see if it was still available. I did check a few hours after I received the email and it was gone because i would have liked a little bit more <laughs> discount but anyway um so happy that it was on sale it feels beautiful on uh, the body i love the fluidity that a silk shirt has i mean i love a linen and a cotton shirt but when you wear it uh, in silk it's just a different whole vibe uh, if you ask me i um i would match it with jeans I would match it even with linen trousers. I would match it with a beautiful silk skirt. I would wear it on top of my silk intimissimi dress. Do I have it here? No, I think, uh, no, I don't have it here. So I got this, um, you know, intimissimi have these slip dresses in two colors, uh, in black and in this off white beige color, I've got them both. I think once upon a time they had it in red as well which is perfect for you know christmas and holidays and festive uh, season and i would wear the slip dress either in black or uh, i would go for the off-white just to create a bit of contrast and i'll wear it on top of that you know just to mix and match the, um, the two um, pieces both uh, in uh, in silk and i think Probably this along with the black top would be the only pieces that I'm going to keep from uh, the haul. I wanted to love these two. I wasn't too sure about um, the polo dress, but I like the color. I wanted to love these uh, two simply because they are in this beautiful shade of blue, perfect for uh, spring. And even the beginning of summer here in London, even though they have long sleeves, because summer in London, especially June, is not that uh, warm. So it's uh, perfectly fine to wear a dress with long sleeve. Uh, but you know, the style was was not uh, good and the fit uh, as well. So voila. So this is all uh, from uh, me. Thank you uh, so much for uh, watching this uh, video. I hope you enjoyed the little haul. Let me know in the comments box down below if you purchased anything at all uh, from uh, the cost sale. One thing I have to say is that, of course, this happens at the um, uh, pages towards the end, but when they announce a sale, they also feature so many pieces from previous uh, collections and they are like, you know, 
like I don't want to be browsing uh, this. I think it would be great if they had uh, an all year round outlet section uh, on the website for anyone who at any time would like to, to browse and just when they do their seasonal uh, sale to have a dedicated seasonal sale page where you go there and you browse pieces you know from the current collection and that way you don't waste time of course you can filter your uh, your search but i think it would be nice to have the two things um apart that would be my uh thought and uh, suggestion uh not that anyone is listening and would do that but i have noticed that in um other fashion retailers um i think like matches or net or you know similar re retailers like this where they have an all year round outlet sales section and they have you know millions of, of things because during a period that is not a non-sale let's say someone you know might go i don't know on a holiday in maldives and uh, currently you might have winter but you really want to get a pair of sandals but you want to get them on sale so you would go uh, to the outlet section and just browse to see what is on sale for my Maldivian uh, escape. Um, so that is my, my thought uh, behind uh, this uh, suggestion. But hey ho, it's just me, uh, you know, just uh, talking about my thoughts uh, out loud. Thank you for listening uh, to my thoughts and thank you for joining me. Until the next video, I'm sending you a big kiss. Ciao, ciao, guys.